Here's the clear view stove, all ready to go, apart from final plastering of the wall, which I'll do once this run a bit. So I've got to put the uh, fire bricks back in, which are there, the grate, and the fire bar and the uh, panel. So, uh, first thing is the grate. So that's the grate in. So you rotate the unit. And uh, the stainless steel ash pan goes in. Like so. so in goes the uh, fire brick. Like so. And the uh, rear one. I think I might have to put the uh, baffle in first, which is this. Right, and then the rear fire brick. All ready to be lit. Mm. Just gonna put the stuff in and have a go. Right, lighting instructions say open the uh, screw wheel and pull open the air slide lever and then uh, put the newspaper and kindling in. So let's do that. Right, in goes the newspaper. Three paper spills. Oh, I haven't made these for 20 years since we lasted a coal fire. And uh, I've got some old kindling, which is old cedar chalice from the garden. Let's see what that goes like. Right, here we go. Needs to leave the door a little bit ajar. Ooh, looks nice. Smoke's going up the chimney nicely. Oh, there you go. Check a login. Seems to be working. Our thermometer is in naught at the moment, so we'll see what that gets up to. It's supposed to stink quite a bit at the start. A bit of condensation going off the glass. Hmm. I've got to use the gauntlet now to uh, put the next log in. According to the instructions, you put the new logs at the uh, back. Right, let's see what happens to that now. We'll come back after five minutes. It's supposed to stink a bit with all the paint and everything settling in, but uh, we'll see. We've been going about uh, five minutes now. Um, I don't think a kindle I had was quite thick enough to burn long enough. But it's getting going, so um, we'll leave it a bit longer and see what happens then.
Go and check this smoke coming out of the chimney. It's going somewhere. Seems to be burning, alright. I'm having another go. I think I put kindling on that was too thin and burned through too quick before the logs could get a go. So I've chopped up some wood, a bit thicker. I'm going to go with that. So uh, we'll see. Got a bit of temperature showing on there now. It's getting warm. So uh, let's see if we can keep it burning <laughs> properly a bit longer this time. Get some ash built up. Give it ten minutes and see what happens. It doesn't seem to be burning a bit better, but I'll try closing this uh, spin wheel now. And see what happens then. So we start to smell the paint, and it's showing um, we're up to 200, nearly 200 degrees. So a bit to go yet. Looking good though. I've I just put another log on. Open the spin wheel again to get it burning well. And we're now on 200 degrees, so I can... Oh, it's starting to get hot now. And uh, you can smell the paint baking on. I think that spin wheel can actually... It says just to shut it gradually. Keep the flames going. So, um... Pretty nice. Let's see if we can run with that fully shut now. Hmm. Not quite yet. I don't know what the wood is, but it's some gnome name. Um, it looks like um, soft wood, to be honest. But it's just to get it going. I'll get some decent wood in the week. Right, I've uh, a bit of playing around. Chopped the wood up a bit smaller. And uh, it seems to be settling down now. Again, a bit more ash glow in there. And uh, I got the spin wheel fully shut now, and then uh, control the speed then with the uh, airflow lever there. So we're on 350 on the uh, dial, and it's starting to get warm. It takes about half an hour to get fully warm, so uh, let's see. Looking nice there. Just got to plaster the rest of the thing and put the uh, fireplace around in. But it's nice. So here's the difference the air slide makes. That's uh, fully open. So if I push it in, the flames die down. And so uh, obviously as I'm settling in, I'll have it about halfway out to keep it going. That's all right. So now we're running at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, yeah, you can start to feel the heat coming off it now. And uh, obviously it's. Uh, Getting the paint baked on. It takes a couple of two or three goes for it to stop smelling, so uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's looking okay. Well, it's been burning now for about three hours, and it's got all nice and warm, and uh, it's burning really well. Once you've got some ash built up underneath, um, you put a new log in, and uh, it lights quite quickly. The uh, air control damper works well and uh, the heat it's giving out is something else the central heating thermostat uh, hasn't turned the heat in on since and it's got it up to 20 in you with no trouble at all it's uh, it's really nice so I'm very pleased and uh, I found out you're actually supposed to put the temperature gauge above the centre of the door so it's a bit big to go there but, uh, and you run it at 500 degrees so uh, yeah you do that and it's uh, it's great so, very pleased with this Clearview uh, Pioneer 400, and it's lovely. Looking forward to a nice winter burning wood.